is blowing into the area. We're going to be experiencing hurricane force winds and dense fog, followed by sheets of driving spray. Stay inside, hunker down, grab a big... Where I dream. Meet the new definition of durability. The John... Smart with the Intel Core Process Audio. Hear music the way that only on HP a day. Excuse me, what is that? 25 million thoughts a second. 25 million thoughts a second. With Fidel, discuss my ideas with someone. That's what I like about Fidelity. They talked with me one on one so we could. If you look at this Gonzaga team, the fact that I think about a month ago, Marquise Carter started to have more of an impact. He had a monster game today, 24 points, 6 assists. He also got to the free throw line, 9 of 11. I think he's become the difference. They had all the other pieces with Zachary and Harris and also Stephen Gray, but they had the inconsistency at the guard position. I think he solidified their backcourt. That's one reason why they were able to dominate, plus 23 on the backboard in this game as well. Gonzaga's got a chance. That's a really favorable bracket for them to have a nice little run in the NCAA. St. John's goes home. Gonzaga advances to Saturday, and they will meet BYU. We remind you, tomorrow morning at 11 Eastern time, get a head start on your March Madness viewing day with Infinity NCAA tip-off on True TV. And then the second round of play tips at noon Eastern time on CBS with Oakland against Texas. Tennessee tackles Michigan on True TV.